Good morning. I'm here with our story of the week, and I've got a good one for you this week. It's a different kind of story, and I think you're really going to enjoy um, checking it out. So um, before we get started, let's talk about what kind of story it is. <clears throat> and this story today is going to be a poem. Now, I'm sure you have read poems before, whether at home or in preschool, but this is the first long poem that we're going to read together today in kindergarten. So I'm super excited about it. Um, now, let's talk about what a poem is real quick. When someone writes a poem, they're usually talking about their feelings about something, how they feel. So the, the author of a poem is called a poet, and the poet usually wants to tell their feelings about something. Um, and one way you know you might be reading a poem is there are lots of words that rhyme in poems. And we've been practicing rhyming so much, and you're all becoming such awesome rhymers, and we're going to definitely see some rhyming words in our poem today. So I'm excited to get to it, and I can tell you a little bit more about it once we take a look at the story. So let's check it out. Okay, so check out the cover of our story that is a poem, okay? Um, let's look at the title real quick. The title is, I Love Bugs. Okay, we have a sight word here, I. This will be a sight word for us a little later, love, and then bugs. And our author, the poet, is going to be Emma Dodd. So Emma Dodd decided to write this story, this poem, about how much she loves bugs. Remember, a poem will usually tell someone's feelings about something. And Emma Dodd is going to tell us how she feels about bugs. And I think from the title, we can read and realize that she really, really loves bugs. So let's check out the first page of the story. I want you to just take a few minutes or a few moments to look at it. Now, you might notice that we've got some nice illustrations in the background, and you might also notice that the word, some of the words are bigger and some are smaller. And in most of our stories, all the words and sentences are all lined up usually where we can see them. Whenever we have a poem, it's kind of neat because the poet can do whatever they want with the words. Sometimes they might make them bigger or smaller or different colors. And we can see that even on our first page of our poem. So let's read to find out. I love all bugs, big and small bugs. I really like how the poet used big letters to type the word big and small letters to type the word small. So she likes bugs that are big and small. Let's keep going. I love springy, jumpy, leapy bugs and slimy, crawly, creepy bugs. Oh boy. Check out all the different bugs on this page. I see so many different bugs. Some are crawling, some are leaping, um, some are slimy. The slugs down here. Okay, and we have some rhyming words in our poems too. Say leapy, creepy. Leapy and creepy are two words that rhyme. I love hard, spiky, spiny bugs and pretty, spotty, shiny bugs. Okay, now look at the, the different bugs. Use your finger and point to the bug that you think that she's calling hard, spiky, and spiny. Which bug on the page looks hard, spiky, and spiny? Use your finger to point to it. I hope you chose this bug right here. When I use my eyes to look at this bug and think about the words hard, 
spiky, and spiny, I think she's talking about this bug right here. Okay, let's also try to find with your pointer finger, point to the bug that she thinks is pretty, spotty, and shiny. Pretty, spotty, shiny. I would either point right here or right here. The ladybugs. I can see that they look pretty. They have spots on them, which means they're spotty. And you can see the, that the way the picture is drawn or painted, that um, it, they made the ladybugs look shiny. And we have our word shiny right here. Let's keep going. I love fuzzy, sunny honey bugs and furry, worry, funny bugs. Wow. What, what kind of bug is she talking about on this page? You're right. She's talking about bumblebees. We have some more rhyming words here. Let's talk about them because we have three words that all rhyme. Say sunny, honey, funny. The words sunny, honey, and funny all rhyme. Oh, look at this page. I love brightly colored wing bugs and stripey, swipey sting bugs. Wow. Check out this page. Which bugs do you think she's talking about have brightly colored wings? You're right. She's talking about the butterflies. And we have our bees again, and she doesn't call them by their name. She calls them sting bugs because bees can sting. I love whiny, buzzy sound bugs and glide across the ground bugs. Wow. I love flouncy, frilly flutter bugs and silly glitter clutter bugs. Okay, let's check for some rhyming words here. Say frilly, silly. Frilly and silly both rhyme. And then say flutter, clutter. Flutter and clutter are rhyming words. I love fly around the light bugs and curl up tight bugs. Wow. I really love the illustrations in this story. I love how you can see the light coming from the lantern. And if you've ever been camping or outside with, with a light, you'll know that some bugs really like to fly around the light as close as possible. Yes, I love all bugs. Hop and fly and crawl bugs. Look at all these bugs. This page, I think, has every bug that we've seen in the story so far. But the best bugs are hairy bugs. Eight-legged scary bugs. Oh boy. What kind of bug is she talking about here? Use what you can see in the picture to tell you. I see a web and a spider. Check out the rhyming words. Hairy, scary. Both of those rhyming words can tell how the poet feels about this spider. The hang from the ceiling bugs. Ooh. The poet definitely wants us to feel scared when we look at this picture. We see the, and read this page, we see the spider hanging from the ceiling. It's dark. And send me squealing bugs. So look what's happening, happening here. 
it looks like the boy in the story is afraid of the spider because he's running away squealing. So maybe he saw the shadow, which made the spider look super duper big and hairy and scary. But really, it's just a smaller spider. Okay, that was our poem. Okay, you did a good job listening to this poem for the first time or second time. And we're going to do so much with this poem at school. And I'm really excited because this is a super fun story. And we're going to be talking about bugs a lot at school. Great job, everyone.